The original selling price of merchandise usually represents only a temporary situation based on customer and competitor reaction to that price. A price reduction from the original selling price of merchandise is known as a markdown. Markdowns are frequently used in retailing because of errors in initial pricing or merchandise selection. For example, the original price may have been set too high, or the buyer ordered the wrong styles, sizes, or quantities of merchandise. Most markdowns should not be regarded as losses, but as sales promotion opportunities used to increase sales and profits. When a sale has been concluded, raising prices back to the original selling price is known as a markdown cancellation. A markdown is a reduction from the original selling price of an item to a new sales price. To determine the amount of a markdown, we use the following formula. Markdown equals original selling price minus sales price. For example, if a sweater was originally marked at $89.95 and then was sale priced at $59.95, the amount of markdown would be $30. To find a markdown percent, we use the percentage formula, where the markdown percent is the rate, the amount of the markdown is the portion, and the original selling price is the base. Markdown percent equals markdown over original selling price. Let's take a look at an example. A blender that originally sold for $60 was marked down and sold for $48. What is the amount of the markdown and the markdown percent? Step 1. Determine the markdown using the formula. Markdown in this case equals $60 minus $48 for a total of $12 in markdown. Determine the markdown percent by using the formula. So markdown percent equals 12 over 60 or 0.2 giving us a 20% markdown. Note that markdown percent calculations are an application of a rate of decrease. In the percentage formula, the markdown portion represents the amount of decrease and the original selling price, the base, represents the original amount. 